So this is Charleston. Charleston White says there's no hope for the truth anymore and morals are more important. That's true. But let's see. And just remember, it's probably like the edited video or something. So it might like cut around or something. I don't know. But just like if there's any context or anything like that, I don't know. I don't have the full interview. This is not the full interview. I just want to, I want to clarify that real quick. As we love to close these interviews out, we love to circle back and get your status on um, for this one again, because Charleston, you speak so eloquently in regards to it. You're a man who lives in your truth. How important is it for people in 2024, and let's just say black men in America, how important is it for us to live in our truth now more so than ever? Well, let me just say this. Fuck the truth. <laughs> because the truth ain't the truth no more, my nigga. Why he always start off like that, bro? Like, that's where he always starts off so bold with it. Like, for what, bro? I guess, like, just to grab attention, but this thing just be so funny, bro. But even when he's inspirational, he's still funny. Like, he just, he's just comedy in general. The truth is what you can make people believe. Mm. Mm. People don't look for the truth. They look for who they like. They're the nation. And they believe who they like. Oh. Whether it's the truth or not. So... Oh. I already told you the truth at the beginning of the video, Truth. Bro. Only truth varies from person to person. But right and wrong don't. So nigga, do what's right. And nigga, uh, uh, try to correct the wrong. Nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. The truth yeah. go change. <laughs> Come on Facts now. don't, but the truth do. Come on now. Yeah, so that's why he preached. That's why you have on one side a prosecutor, you have a defense attorney, and they both have the facts based on how they present the facts and make the people believe what's true. Right. Yeah. And that's what's true. <laughs> that is facts. Come on, talk to him. That's crazy. All right, we well, already know what it is, really man. Uh, Charleston, um, I, when you really think about the scope of that shit, bro, that shit really is wild, though. Like, it really is. Like, they do have the facts on each side, bro. And it is who can argue it better than the other person, bro. Someone's life is in the hands of these two. Like, that, like really just take that in. If you haven't been a part of that, bro, just take that shit in, bro. Like, that shit is just, like, nuts to think about, bro. Like, just take it in. Leave a comment if you experience the shit, bro. Like, that, that shit wild. But anyway, I'm going to press on, bro. I see y'all on the podcast. Yeah, let's, let's, let's the hit podcast. the podcast. No, no, wait, wait, real quick. What do you well, have going on? Uh, we're about to enter the bro. third and fourth quarter. Shh, yeah, man. like, I mean, my nigga, like, I, I uh, <laughs> man, I just completed a residency in Las Vegas. Uh, man, congrats to that, man. Let's uh, that up. Hold on, let's that up. Right, let's that up. That's big. Yeah, that's big. Fort Worth to the yeah, yeah, that's big. Come on, uh, man. Uh, so, me, so me and David Lucas, uh, so he just plugged me into his, his, his agency in, in, in management. So, you know, David Lucas, is that's Joe Rogan partner. Come on, uh, they sitting out Madison Square Garden. Uh, I just got a call from uh, from P from Quality Control uh, with a with a possible podcast deal. Uh, uh, me and Kanye working on something. Uh, shit, me I, I got the Mac School with the fan bus, uh, which we can eventually start trying to shop around somewhere. I got date my niece with the fan bus. It does real good on YouTube. Uh, I got two major movies. Uh, I actually got I actually got three decks that's been presented for for a major movie. So one of them is me. Uh, it's, it's house. It's, it's gonna be like house party, home alone, and Friday all in one. So I'm playing RT's look RT's uncle. Uh, I right. go to jail. RT at home by himself. He threw a big house party. So they got me, Carlos Miller, Walker Flocker, uh, Aiden Ross. It's all the people in the deck. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, and 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 then uh, on the flip side of it. Uh, I don't want to say this, but this dick will uh, have me in the wilderness uh, doing shit with young niggas from the hood like survival. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man, yeah, this, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. Look at that big ass roach. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga <laughs> going to learn how to make fire <laughs> with sticks and all kind of shit. Uh, oh, we're going to have challenges. Uh, uh, man, it, it's. This is an old, like, like this is like a few months this, was, uh, this video was made. Like, just like two or something. And this could be like a. As far as I know, this would be an old ass interview. I don't know if he still links up with Aiden Ross and shit like that, but I know they fell out at one point. I don't know if they're still, you know, like a thing, but like I know he's on his own path, so is Aiden most of the time, but I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, I haven't like looked into it, but this is just older. That's all I'm letting you know. Wait, 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 you ready for the wilderness? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so, so then the, the, there's another one that was presented uh, by uh, movie producer Alex Stone. Uh, mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of like narrating, uh, narrating a series oh, of uh, right. there's no honor among thieves. That's gonna be highlighting all the gangsters, kind of like American Gangster, but something different. We're just gonna talk about all the gangsters who snitch. Right. Oh. That's gonna be oh. big. Oh man. Yeah, that's oh. gonna be big. And then uh. <laughs> yeah, so, I ain't no so, cap, bro. So, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't no cap, bro. I ain't no cap. That's gonna be good as fuck, bro. <laughs> that shit gonna be good as hell. I I die to see that one, bro. Where we die, we die to see that the fucking Charleston White narrated fucking movie about who snitched and gangsters, like all of them, bro. Oh shit, that's gonna be so good. I I can't even lie, that's gonna be so good, bro. I'm the, I'm the short king, bro, but he the fucking king of snitching, bro, and that that nigga. He on top of the list. That's all I can say. So we got a we got a movie premiere that's coming out in, in Atlanta. Uh, I think uh, like around October, November. Uh, a movie that me and Amarella start in. Uh, that's called We Out Here. Uh, yeah. So so we're gonna be doing that movie premiere. Uh, man, it's a lot of shit, homie. Man. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of shit. Oh yeah, nah. It sounds like we're gonna have you uh, dose of Charleston all the way through Christmas, a little bit after. Yeah. Uh, God damn it, man. Let's get to yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, so so. You, you notice I'm not on YouTube that much anymore. You so, so, that. so so I've limited myself to the Danza Project, Say Cheese TV, and Real Life Street Stars, right? Uh, no, 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 no. So, so, it, but because I had somebody class. from one of Joe Rogan's friends said, good? man, we don't want to look up one day and say what happened to Charleston. And if you keep sitting on different, if you keep going to these type of podcasts, it hurts your brand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, homie. But it, you, you you did look out for some up and coming podcasters. Yeah. To really give them a a look, like you really yeah. did, like so. But uh, hey, we appreciate you. Oh for, yeah. for, uh, well, uh, well, they suggested I keep doing y'all. Even after I said no, they said, man, you. When I just, tell you, a million subscribers are looking for you. Yeah. They're look. <laughs> they're literally looking for you. Oh, like what yeah. the. Fuck. So 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 Mike Busey just did That's a four-hour interview. This you know, way. probably one of my best interviews. Mm, uh, so it, it opened me up, and, and Mike Busey is another good friend of Joe Rogan. So, homie, I'm going with the rope, you know, to, yeah, that's that's the level I'm trying to get. I'm trying to go. surpass uh, the nigga shit uh, because I'm more valuable uh, being intellectual than staying focused on the character because these platforms focus on the character and, and not the man uh, and, and what the man could do in his position now. Come on. Now. Yeah, I can do way more in this position now. Come on. Oh, damn. And uh, I would, this is what I tell everybody. I ain't beat about that. Like, I, I I enjoy when this nigga actually speaks, bro. Like, on, like, on for real. I'm not even, like, no no joke or nothing. Like, when he's speaking, like, even when he's, like, doing his, uh, the whole gimmick and stuff, it's it's hilarious. And, and it truly is. It's it's funny. And it's, like, it's laughing, you know. He, he's laughing that, you know. Like, we, we already know. He's making fun of. The culture, like it, it just it's all a joke to him. But it's it's all Alan's ain't good fun, but <laughs> he funny as hell sometimes, bro. Like he this this nigga wild, like wild as fuck. But when he did the talking for real, it's so good. Like he has so much knowledge to pass on to us. It, it's amazing, bro. And then it, as he says, he's in a position where he can do something, bro. That's amazing. I can't wait to a position where I can do something. It, it'd be awesome. Like right now, it's it's great. I I kind of can have a voice. It's it's cool, but to really like I don't know, maybe in his position I'd do a little more. I don't know. I, I would like to be be there one day to to see if I can. That'd be kind of cool. But he's like he's one of them dudes that be like he be talking about this shit all the time, bro. And he be dropping dimes. Just go watch interviews, bro. You don't see a few on the channel, bro. Especially this one does well, bro. I know y'all want to see more Charleston White, so I'm, I'll. I'll fucking I'll put it more on YouTube, like, you know, we don't watch more Charles and White, because I, I think I think he's entertaining, bro, for one, and then he also just drops dimes of knowledge all the time. Uh, cause stay tuned. Uh, in. it's always about out talking somebody, right? But what always made you a better talker is not because you could out talk, it's because you were smarter. Yeah. So, like I said, uh. You don't want to. You don't want to do that with Charleston. I had a nigga call me. Uh, he was like, "Man, see if Charleston will beef with me online." <laughs> I said, "I said you don't want to waste your money doing that because you it won't be no career for you to have." Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. Oh man, so so, um, homie, I got, I got, 
So they're, they're trying to shop my, my comedy shows to yeah. Netflix. Uh, yeah. I got a documentary that's coming out that, uh, you know, Jay Prince them offered me like 300 some thousand dollars, but they wanted an apology for it, and I, I turned it down. Mm. So, homie, it, it's, it's more to me than beefing with a nigga. I don't for beef sure. with no nigga. Nigga, I just voice my opinion, and people right. get offended by what I say, mm. and, and we might go back and forth, but nigga, I don't go back and forth with niggas all the time. Mm. So yeah, it, it's more to yeah. me than that. I done surpassed that. That was the first three years. Yeah. Now it's time to evolve. And I'm evolving. I'm growing, mm -hmm. nigga. I'm maturing. I'm developing. Yeah. Not only that, nigga, I'm learning the business. Uh, and I'm learning the do's and don'ts. At first, I ain't give a damn about learning the do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. uh, now, yeah. So now I'm saying somebody hurry up and give me a script so I can quit fucking with these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody hurry up and give me and a with, script. And, yeah. And, and with that being said, whether you like it or not, Charleston White, you are a real life street star. Hey, that's the end of the interview, bro. But Charleston White, bro, what can I say? He, he be dropping dimes with a little knowledge here and there. This one wasn't like a big uh, dime drop, but this was just a little video for for him just to talk about the morals and shit real quick and the truth. Like, he always speaks the truth, bro. Like, just pay attention to Charleston White, bro. He really do speak truth. Like, he, is, he does have a character. Don't pay too much attention to the character. He's mostly just doing it for, I would say, for fun. I guess I also feel like it's for education, Loki, too. But maybe we'll get into that more at a different time.